Well, today guys, we uh, bought more plants, more fruit trees, edible fruit trees. Um, oh my gosh, I got a little bug down there running around. I'll be right back guys, because that little bug actually ate some of my cactus. So, I'll be right back. Mm. No that. Anyway, got some Nepalis right here. Uh, I got some pads that uh, actually came off because it was so heavy. But uh, I'm gonna wait for the uh, cut end right here to callus over. Probably wait maybe three to four days maybe a week and put this in soil and we'll have new plants so I got another one right there as well but I'm debating because so I'm gonna put this in the underground um, since I we have a fence now uh, that's gonna help a lot and protect it from critters eating it but I'll probably still put a chicken wire around it just to make sure uh, the critters don't eat it because last time all my Nepalis are gone. It's been eaten except for one <laughs> that was left, but I got a lot before. A lot. But uh, I'm debating if I'm gonna take this one off because see how loose that is? So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there and put this on the ground. Definitely I'll take this one off. Leave this one here in the ground and let it grow so yeah I'll probably take this guy off right here just a little bit loosen it up once that's a little bit loosened up can see that so we'll let that dry up and uh, make three new uh, plants and this little deal will probably grow more um, uh, pads right here more right there definitely will grow more pads so yeah I'll probably leave this one here probably get better and let's go uh, take a look at what the rest of those things that um, we purchased but later on guys make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna do a whole tour of our food forest here so you guys can see what we have all right make sure you do that well I decided to take all the pads off on the mother plant right there yeah it looks terrible I know um, but it'll grow back some new pads um, that's gonna be my mother uh, plant so that's where I'm gonna be taking some pads take some cuttings to propagate more um, of this opuntia or spineless um, it's called a Burbank's spineless cactus so um, there's a little spine still but not as big not as sharp not as long like uh, the other ones uh, i don't know why they call it spineless it still has spines or glockids what they call it those are irritating anyway uh guys <laughs> enough talking uh i got what one two three four five uh five pads that I'm gonna dry up for uh, three to five days maybe. And once it's dried, I'll go ahead and put it in a container and propagate more uh, Burbank spineless cactus. So yeah, excited. 
try it again. You failed once with all the critters, try it again. Look what my wife, and this is the avocado. Look like it's gonna die, but look, it's sprouting back again, which is good. Uh, let's show you the other one. Let's see. Uh, there. You see that? Two new sprouts. Which is nice. I thought it was dead, but hey. Make sure it is before you do anything. Just leave it alone. Let it um, grow. You put some. Uh, uh, hopefully that one survives too, but we'll see. But uh, she got a lot of uh, what do you call that? Strawberries. White. Uh, White strawberries. We'll see if it's gonna sprout. She put some more seeds there. Moringa. You got okra right here sprouting already yeah there's a few more right there little ones uh, some cactus cuttings right here what she did getting more cuttings right there and more new plants that uh, she bought yesterday some lantana uh, more Eggplant, ice, ice plant right there. What is that one? Pepper. Pepper. So, Fresno chili hot pepper. Oh, those are good. There was a flower yesterday. There. Oh, yeah. That's gonna fruit soon. And this is Sheet Cool eggplant. Yeah, it looks terrible right now, but it's gonna do well. No worries, See new sprouts in there. It's organic. Yeah. This is ice plant and marigold yeah. will be paired with the tomatoes. Uh, yeah, good pair. Cilantro and what do you call this one? Boysenberry. Boysenberry. Uh, Dornish boysenberry. I haven't tasted that. We'll see. So we're getting a lot of berries too. So we're creating our own uh, berries area here. And oh wow, look at all those beets growing already. Red Detroit beets. Look at that. Tiny ones growing. Soon we'll have beets. Beets are good. Avocado is here. This the one that is And uh, this one we got it on sale. It's a dwarf burning bush. Um, it's a hedge, foundation hedge. So I did some cuttings yesterday and see if it's gonna grow. But yeah, we're gonna put it right here. Uh, I think it grows pretty high too. I was surprised. Um, six feet high at mature size. And uh, it's called hardy minus 20 to minus 30, which is nice. It'll work good here. But uh, yeah, let me show you right quick. All the berries that we have, this is going to be our berries area right here in front and also more there on the other side. But uh, slowly but surely we'll put the boysenberry here and we already planted this uh, blackberry. So it's flowering, you see that? It's already flowering. So we're going to get some berries there. Um, right here guys, look at this. This is uh, pink lemonade blueberry. 
um, I'll probably I'll probably put it in the ground or just leave it in the pot let it grow a little bit bigger and uh, have control of it uh, but some blueberry right there just the regular blue blueberry so we're gonna plant it there we got a I think this is a raspberry uh, yeah raspberries the red ones yeah we're gonna, this is gonna be the area for it and on the other side I think this is let's go over here oh, 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 oh. And what is this? This is a uh, fall gold raspberries. And nice. Look, it's fruiting already. Well, fruiting. I mean, flower. Gonna flower. So we're gonna have some fruits there. And look what my wife's dragon fruit. We thought it was gonna die, but not. See that? Yeah, it's two new growth. Awesome. Exported from Nor NorCal. Yep, exported from NorCal. But uh, this is just a quick uh, little tour of what we just got, what we uh, purchased, what we're going to grow, what we're going to plant. But uh, again, again, guys, like what I said earlier, we're going to do a full tour of our homestead. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified guys all right Romy and Tess <laughs> so make sure you don't fall now <laughs> all right <laughs>